Hi guys, good afternoon, good morning, wherever is it that you're currently at. Uh, we're, this is another episode of, of Static, Static, Static Talks. And today we have a really, really special guest and I'm really grateful to actually have her here, here on our podcast. Uh, she actually comes all the way from Dubai. Um, and today we're in Detroit, Michi Michigan. I'm sure you guys seen a different vibe. It's not usually in the office where we actually have the podcast. But I want to thank our buddy here, Frank uh, Juan, that he actually set everything up and just brought it and he made it happen. So today we have Jasmine. So thank you so much for introducing me. And we have our glasses on if you're watching the video, because I think it's funny because Jimmy actually always wears glasses and so do <laughs> I. So we were the first people to connect um, when we had the Forbes 30 and the 30 summit. And this is actually the last time I get to be and connect with yes. people also from the Forbes 30 and the 30 summit to move uh, to the airport. So my name is Jasmine Manke. I'm really honored and grateful to be here with you today. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here in, uh, on the podcast. And yes, and one of the reasons that I love doing this podcast is because we, I want to bring in powerful people, people that are really changing the world or have big visions and people that have obviously started and built something amazing, right? In this case, uh, we have Jasmine. She's doing, um, there's multiple business that she's uh, handling and she comes from a, a really cool uh, place and she's going to give us a lot of those details. I don't want to spoil it for you guys. So I'll let her do it. <laughs> Um, and we want you guys to hopefully take something from here and that could change your life or give you some tips and help you and encourage you so you guys could continue to do all those amazing things that you guys are doing. Usually our audience, uh, Jasmine, is entrepreneurs, people that are in sales, people that they just want to better their quality of life, uh, people that are still trying to find their place. And, um, and I'm sure you're going to add tons of value, guys. So make sure you guys stay tuned. Uh, she's going to give tons of good um, information. And then she's going to also provide us where you guys could um, follow her on Instagram, Facebook. And I'm sure you could probably Google her and you'll see some of the cool stuff she has done. Thank you so much. <laughs> yes, I, I think it's super important that we stay honest and real about the things that we are creating and co-creating together. And I feel like, um, I mean, you just said that, Jimmy, it's like God works in mysterious ways in the universe. And there was obviously um, a direct connection of energy as well. It's like when certain people, you just are supposed to create impact together in this world. It goes beyond just the realm of understanding cognitively. It actually is so much deeper than that because as we are together, we are so much stronger, all of us, even if you're watching this right now, you know, this is to empower you and your mission to really make you understand that there is something that you have on your heart right now that matters. But first, it has to matter to you. You have to trust that it is worthy, that it is good enough, that you are good enough and that we're not perfect, right? Nobody is. I don't I'm far from perfect. I have so many different things that I probably am not proud of. <laughs> and some of the things I have shared online, um, especially in my book, I, I do share a lot about um, my, my failures because they're only opportunities to grow. So even in my book, I was talking about um, my first seven-figure business um, called the Fast and Furious seven-figure business. And it was really about how I built a business that was not in alignment with my values. It worked but I worked way too much and it was way too exhausting. I didn't give myself enough time or space. And I also looked at all the profit margins and it wasn't making sense uh, from an economical sense. Also, of course, like, yes, we were profitable and it was great, but it just wasn't sustainable long term as well. Wow. Wow. That, that's amazing. So you, you mentioned a little bit about like having too much right on your plate. And sometimes you just go way and beyond that. There's a point where maybe even the profits are not there, but you're just so focused. And so you want to like just stick to this and I already said I'm going to do it. So I just going to go after it. Um, do you think it's uh, maybe as an entrepreneur is something that you kind of have to go through it and then you get so tired of it that you just try to find other ways where you could be more sustainable and kind of find that inner peace and joy within what you're doing? I think, no, actually, I really don't. I think that is exactly why we should hire a mentor, you know, because if I would have hired a mentor that was in alignment with my values, the way, um, and I have a mentor now, the way she lives her life, 
I'm like, yes, this is exactly how I want to do it, right? So we get a shortcut. This is why people are listening to your podcast right now so that they don't have to go through this hardship, so mm -hmm. that they get to learn from you as well how you don't only create solar power, but you actually empower other people as well. And I love that sentence. That is so cool. <laughs> By the way, that was really mm -hmm. awesome. Um, but I believe that we have to go through it mentally. We have to make that decision of like, this is something that is just no longer available for me. I made it way harder than, than required. And many people do. And because that's how we were trained. Hard work. You have to hard work. Nothing comes from nothing. You have to suffer to succeed, which I don't really believe is true because pain is inevitable, but suffering is optional. You don't have to suffer. You can literally allow yourself to grow and create beautiful growing pains. Of course, there's going to be growing pain, but the way you navigate and handle these things, um, that is key, right? Yeah. And the more happy and fulfilled we are, the more honest we are about how we actually feel about these things, then the faster with the honesty as well, we get to actually choose again. And there was that time where I just had to be honest. My business was profitable. It was very profitable. But if you think about like $100,000 per month, but if you have $50,000 $50, costs, $50,000 stay um, left over. Now, if I have $10,000 costs and I, I don't know, make $270,000, it's like the, the profit margins are a little bit different, right? And yeah. then with that money, you can support a lot more people. You can give to causes. You can give back in so many beautiful ways. Um, and it doesn't have to be so complicated, right? Yeah. It, it is possible. It takes time to get there, of course. And there are growing pains. So I'm not saying it's <laughs> easy and I have it all together. It does take some time and there's ups and downs. But there is a definitely an easier way where it doesn't require to be so complicated. Wow, that's uh, pretty powerful. So that's, that's something that, just like you said, right, like it, as the world evolves, like our whole purpose and one of the biggest things that drives us like as entrepreneurs or um, just as being, you know, maybe even a, a leader at home, right? Like not necessarily you have to be an entrepreneur, but I feel like in so many ways we're leaders, right? And uh, one of the things that, that you said, it's important to... Um, to to find find an example like you said right like a mentor to guide you and direct you towards where you need to go because a lot of some of the, some of the experience that i personally have uh you know when i've hired somebody it's like there's so many factors where i'm like wow like i didn't know this like and it all you know just because this guy said it and the way that he said it and, and he actually directed me to the direction like it was a lot more simple than me trying to figure it out figure it out myself right and i think yeah. uh, a lot of the time there's an ego um you know that could be there and it's like no i got it I, I got it all figured out and like you said like we're always growing there's always something that we're working on and, and we accept that and we just try to be um you know as as efficient as we can with all everything that life throws us i think it's 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 uh really helps right uh but that's that's so cool um if if you don't mind us asking like um what is um in the beginning, uh, you started your business, right? You know, like you mentioned, the first uh, seven-figure uh, business that you actually started. Um, was it? Um, it was completely from scratch, right? Or yeah, yeah. It was. It was completely from scratch as well as a coaching business as well, um, which is still like the same business. We just celebrated five years of the Confident Boss Academy, which is my signature program. Wow. You, uh, Juan, watched me this morning on <laughs> my Instagram <laughs> live video. I interviewed one of my clients. She celebrated 20k in her business wow. from scratch as well. She's a mom of three, which I think is super powerful. <laughs> she never joined my calls, like at the beginning, two or three, but she was watching only replays. Yeah. And um, I wanted to actually add to the ego thing of like not asking for help. If that's okay. No, of course, yeah. I think the the thing is, it's it's yes, it's ego, but it's also the fear of um, of judgment or the fear of like not having it figured out or being seen as weak, right? Or being like, oh, like you should be smarter. And it's like that fear of like how are people going to perceive you if you're asking for help, like you should be perfect, right? Like, at least that was for me, that was really big. It's like, I need to know everything. Like, this is what expected of me. And then when it really comes down to like the core, it's it's the fear of not being loved if we yeah. show our weaknesses or we don't show that we are human too, <laughs> you know? It's like, yeah, we're human actually. And um, I don't pretend to have all the answers either. I know the things that I, I, I really care about, the things that flow to me. I believe I'm a vessel, I'm a channel. I, I love connecting with uh, infinite abundance and I'm a channel for goodness from spirit from the universe I work a lot with energies now um, that that are literally downloads like things sometimes I'm like I don't remember what I said but it's on recorded so if you want to rewatch <laughs> it like for sure um, so yeah wow. that helped a lot 
No, that, that's amazing. And I wanted to kind of talk a little bit more of the of the spirituality side of things, right? I think I off off the cameras we talked about and one of the many events that was going on yeah. these past days, and how important it is to like develop that side, right? Because it's like um, I feel whenever I work towards it or I see other people, um, like there's like this level of confidence and peace, right? That you develop um, that. Like it's pretty much on tap, right? Like, cause the world throws you a lot of ideas. You gotta do this. You gotta do that in order for you to be successful. You have to wear this. You have to look like this, and all these yeah. right insecurities that, yeah. uh, you know, that could affect people, right? And all those things that are going on and that are said, like in uh, in the media's or Instagrams and all this stuff. And uh, I feel, and and I'm from my experience, and I'm, you know, my mom's been a great mentor of mine, you know, the spiritual side, and she always keeps me on check, you know. I love that, and um. And and I feel like by me developing that side of uh, of the side that side um like I just feel more confident I know I, my head's more clear right I get to kind of have those alone times with myself too and prayer meditation all this good stuff and and sometimes we forget right a lot of people forget and there were some people just wake up and just go at it what's what's going on you solve that problem this uh, you're a dad or you're a husband or you're a wife right or all these things that come up to you in your face and it's like that's where people get anxiety or all this crazy stuff that's going out right in the world and and I think that's some people take sometimes take it for granted and I feel like there there has to be a lot more information and um, and I love what you're doing you know pretty much like just sharing all this information with people because people need it we need it right everybody needs I it, need right? it that's why I'm sharing <laughs> it it's also for me yeah <laughs> yeah no that's awesome and I and I love that and I feel like you know, for those of you guys that are out there, like, that's something really important. I think uh, I feel like and one of the things that I try to kind of balance and temperature myself with is, like, the, the like, spirit, mind, and body, right? I think that's kind of like where I check my temperatures. How am I doing uh, spiritually? How am I doing, um, you know, mentally? And how am I doing with, how am I taking care of my, my body, right? Is that something that you kind of follow, too, or... Um, yeah, this is yeah. this is a really beautiful way of um, putting it down like that and breaking it down. And I feel like, yeah, sometimes when I, uh, for like yesterday, right, like I, I just needed to spend some time by myself. Like I couldn't take on any more energies. I really just needed to rest. Um, and when I'm with people all day long and I'm just absorbing all these energies and it's like my mind is so overstimulated, I, would, I was awake until like 2 a.m. like the night before just thinking, and I'm like, oh, my God, like, I need to rest as well. And then the first thing now um, that I've done is, like, going back to, uh, to Dubai. It's like I ordered myself a, a beautiful meal plan to eat healthy. Uh, I booked a massage, right, like, taking care of my human as well because our mind will go so fast. Even this is why also I work with very successful entrepreneurs that desire to have a better quality of life because our mind and like the crypto industry, the technical side of things, like our systems, the AI, like everything like that is is automated. And it's like the human sometimes doesn't keep up because, and, and then people literally pass away, they die or they get super sick. I mean, my dad passed from overworking. I was only 10 and he's never going to be there when I'm going to get married and walk me down to the aisle. And it's because he wanted to, to help people and he, he built his mission and he, you know, he didn't know when there was time to stop. Yeah. Um, and I, that, that is part of my core mission is to help people to enjoy their wealth because it's so important when you, you know, and actually it becomes at some point when you really do what you love and you're in alignment with it and you figure it out and you receive a certain amount of wealth, right? Like, uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs it's like once you have you know the shelter you have food you've got you know your needs are met you receive more and more money at some point it's like okay but now what and I've experienced that in my business as well I had the success but I was unhappy and I wasn't fulfilled so it's so important like you said of really taking care of your mind of like are you actually happy this is something you can ask yourself and, and be honest with yourself like are you actually happy and for me overall, yes, I am happy, but there's definitely areas of my life that I'm not happy with. And I want to then look into, okay, like, what am I not happy about specifically? Like, what exactly makes me unhappy? And then how can I take control and responsibility? Um, and actually, I used to hate the word responsibility because it sounds so negative. And actually, if I once I re redefined the word responsibility, it's just knowing and acknowledging your ability to respond with power. So it's not like something negative. It's actually just acknowledging your power 
and responding, right? Your ability to respond with power because we do have control over most things, especially ourselves and everything else you obviously don't have control over. Don't try to control it. Really important. <laughs> let it go. And yeah, I don't even know where I was going with this point. So I'm yeah. going to just let you no, talk no, no, now. No, of course. I mean, a, a lot of, <laughs> a lot of good stuff, you know, a lot, <laughs> no, no, I no, was no. on a roll. <laughs> you were, you were on fire. <laughs> no, but a, a lot of good stuff, just like you mentioned, like it's, uh, and that honestly, and it's so great that we're having this conversation. Cause I'm, you know, to obviously, like you said, we are always growing, we're always developing. Um, and you know, a, a good takeaway from this conversation is like, you know, I was in a, in a hotel and I thought I lost something, which was really important to me. And usually I will go and, uh, can just kind of freak out and try to figure it out, try to contact right. and, you know, do everything in my power to take control. Right. Yeah. And, um, and, and I did decided to just kind of take a different approach. Right. And just cool down. It's like, Amazing. you know, whatever God wants to happen is going to happen. Right. I'm in the middle of like a five day, uh, event, right. Which yeah. we begin training. We're talking to a bunch of people. And, um, and I was like, well, I, I can't freak out. I was, I'm not going to, you know, kind of try to control. I'm just going to take it easy. And, you know, God is going to provide whatever, you know, whatever, you know, whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And next thing you know, I found it, which we were pretty, I uh, were pretty excited, you know, that we were able to find it. But, um, but I think that's, that's important. And that, and to be honest with you, that's something that I've, I've, I've been working on, um, as of like for the past, I would say like a month or two months and is has definitely changed like the way my perspective and the way that I kind of carry myself a little bit too. Cause like you said, um, and uh, what an interesting um, story that you're talking about, right? About your father and how you want to change, you know, like uh, help other people out there. That's extremely important because uh, I, I'm sure like all these entrepreneurs and people that are, you know, really successful at what they're currently doing, like go through that, right? It's like the next thing, the next thing and right? Yeah. The world is demanding, uh, but it's important to kind of stop have the time and just analyze and see okay this is what you've done and um and, and yeah and that's huge you know because I, I can say from uh from my point of view like as far as coming from uh um from a low lower lower class actually you know or financial like we gotta we gotta make more money we gotta improve we gotta get you know bring mm -hmm. our family out of you know all this situation mm -hmm. and a lot of the time is like like you said it's hard to just stop and say you're okay mm -hmm. you're okay buddy just check it out this is what you have done, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you know, you have, I know you have some goals set and it's going to happen. Right. And I think one of the biggest advice that I got from uh, like mentors as well, or older people is like, it's like whatever you desire to do, like it's going to happen, you know? Mm -hmm. So enjoy, enjoy the moment and, um, you know, and just try to do the best that you can at it. And at the end of the day, like you said, we don't really have control at the end of the day, what, you know, what the purpose that we have is going to happen. So that's cool. That's really, really cool. Um, it gives us so you know much that. peace. Thank you for sharing that. Whatever you desire, I, I like to say, whatever you desire is destined for you. Yes. So everything that you desire is actually destined for you, and it's meant to occur and happen. So yeah. it's a good reminder for all of us because I, I tend to want things so much. Like, I get obsessed. I'm like, oh, my God, <laughs> this thing. Like, ah, oh, this would be amazing. And I focus on it, and I'm like, ah, oh, I love it so much. I'm, I'm a very, like, all-in kind of person. And it's like, if I love something, I love something. I'm so yeah. in it with my heart. I'm so passionate. It's like, ah, oh, I want to do it. I think about it 2 a.m. Like, what are the things? And um, yeah, and, and so was my dad, I guess. And so is my mom. I'm, I'm half German, so I have the efficient side. My dad was German. My mom's Romanian, so I've got the Romanian fire. Um, and my, my mother actually also came from nothing. She escaped Romania when she was 18. My dad also basically built from, from zero. He, I mean, I share about it in my book. It's like he had, um, he used to uh, sell charcoal um, with a bar barrel, barrel? barrel yeah. <laughs> with right. a barrel then he had a horse then he had a cart with a horse right it's like that's how he built up wow. and it's like from scratch from scratch i get it my grandmother didn't have electricity in her house you know even yeah. parts of my family now they you know they're they're building what they can right everybody's on their own journey and everybody takes responsibility for their yeah. own ways it's can be challenging and this could be a whole nother podcast you guys i'm sure <laughs> we know what we're talking about right <laughs> love you guys love your family <laughs> yes. it is what it is and yeah. um taking responsibility loving everyone and um i feel like this is a whole nother conversation <laughs> Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah. It's, it's, all, it's all good. We're not going to go into that. By the way, who else is like dying to know what you forgot? I'm going to ask you after this episode because I don't want to yeah. put you on the spot. No, no, but no I want to know what he forgot. It sounded so important, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, for sure. For sure. 
Uh, but getting getting back pretty much to talking a little bit about how you're, you're transforming and helping a lot of people, right? Yeah. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the this uh, this uh, magazine? Uh, some of the the article and some of the what you guys talked about in there. Like, I'm so excited to kind of go through it and just read it. Um, Kitty, can, do you mind sharing a little bit about what's in, in the magazine? Of course. Yeah. So I was very honored uh, to be on the cover of uh, Forbes Monaco with my mother. And uh, we were called the Transformers <laughs> because cool. it's all about transforming and helping um, female entrepreneurs um, just essentially create more abundance. Um, and that's really what my mom did as well when she uh, started out as well. So we share a lot about my mother's um, my mother's story as well. I share about my story, about my dad's story, how they met, how they connected. So, I mean, if, if you guys want to read the article as well, like I have it on my Instagram. We did a whole like celebration Forbes live video together it was really fun uh, my Instagram is Jasmine Manke coaching so you can go check it out I'm sure it's going to be in the show notes or something but you can you can find me so awesome. if you want to read it it's it's in there as well or on my website I probably should add it there hopefully yeah. by the time you watch this it's on my website <laughs> <laughs> um, but For it's sure. it's cool. mainly about okay. helping and empowering entrepreneurs or in general people to okay. enjoy their life more and also enjoy the wealth and the things that they do have and and knowing that what they have right now is already enough and then yeah. building from an abundant place rather than from a place of scarcity and lack okay awesome and uh, and also um i definitely want to want to include this i know we, we actually don't have the hard copy of your book which i've i've seen it you're like number one uh setter worldwide i believe right so I'm pro we don't have one because they're pretty much almost sold out <laughs> right? so it's an amazing book too I'm, I'm sure there's tons of more information that you're gonna you know acquire from there um and like you said your instagram um your um, linkedin you're pretty much on pretty i'm sure you're on all platforms right where people yeah can find a little yeah more from you. thank you yeah. and actually i wanted to give you guys a gift as a thank you for watching so if you are listening this podcast with jimmy please message me the word Jimmy. So I know it's you from here. Um, and I'm going to be on, on my Instagram. So message me on my Instagram at Jasmine Manke Coaching. So J-A-S-M-I-N-M-A-N-K-E Coaching. And you can message me the word Jimmy and I will give you access to a surprise gift. Wow. Now, I may be giving you access to my app for free. Um, so who knows? Message me and find out. Guys, make sure you guys message. You guys are going to get a lot of good stuff and a, a lot of good content. And, um, yeah, make sure you guys go ahead out there and, and send it. She has a, an amazing story that, you know, hopefully you guys were able to get as much information. Um, is there any – Juan, do you have any, any question coming up, anything you think we should uh, cover? We're getting a thumbs up. I think we're good. Oh, oh my oh, yes, affirmation yeah. cards. Yes. Okay, so I have my affirmation cards. Thank you, Juan. See, yeah, what would we yeah. do without you, Juan? Thank yeah. you. <laughs> Muchas gracias. <laughs> Okay, so let's um, go ahead and actually pull one. Okay. So I'm setting the intention. I'm shuffling the cards right now, and um, one is already falling out, which is beautiful. So this one is, I believe, the intention for um, our podcast. And then okay. I will pull one. I'm going to pull one for me, for you, okay. and for all of us. There you go. Okay. This one. Oh, this is so powerful. So the first one uh, yeah. for this podcast is your uniqueness is your superpower contrast oh. is beautiful because together we are more in unity there is strength don't compare yourself to anyone else you will never be like others and that is fabulous you are meant to be you and you will be loved for who you are loving yourself and your own uniqueness is a lifelong journey and that is beautiful celebrate your uniqueness by being proud to be you go all in with who you are and don't shy away from showing up all of you matters affirm with me i am who i want to be because i am me wow so that's Powerful. one and then we have for us which I, I this is really relevant for me right now time is just an illusion you are exactly where you are meant to be right now wow peaceful that is. <laughs> let go of the timeline and be grateful for how far you have already come you are in the exact right place and right time the sooner you release resistance with your current situation, the faster you can manifest more of your desires. Make peace with your timeline. The only real moment we will ever have is now. Embrace it. Don't get lost in the past or in the future. Appreciate and be present with your life as it is right now because <laughs> it will change soon. All you desire is already on its way to you faster than you can imagine. 
Everything is on time and happens in time. Wow, that is that is so powerful. That is really really powerful. I, I love that. And um, and people could find that in in, in your Instagram, right? Like in, in the links and everything. Or we website? don't sell them all the time, but if oh, you're okay. lucky, they might be up. Oh, so okay, okay. it's kind of first come first serve basis. But oh, who knows? You might be able to find them oh, if you're lucky. You yeah, I know that, that's that's really really nice. And then. But thank you. No, no, thank you, thank you for the gift. We really yes. appreciate that. We're gonna be reading them every morning, you know, so we get some inspiration, or if we know where you travel. I know you travel a lot too, right? Like you're you're back and forth all over the country. Yeah. Um, not country, the world actually, right? Cause yeah. You're in Dubai and then <laughs> yeah. yes, Monaco, and it's that's a that's a whole different uh, story. Thank you very much. I love it. Thank you. We really really appreciate it. But that is super cool. Um, you know, I I'm glad that I'm able to have this conversation because it was so funny. It was a in the airport last time and i was like wow like this traveling is insane like i don't know if i could keep up with this and it's so cool because i've got to like god works in mysterious ways right and, and then i see you too like traveling all over the place like right around the world and it's like oh i mean look there's other people doing it so it's possible you know sometimes you, you kind of get like i don't know is this too much am i you know kind of going a little too thin i actually with that being said i do yeah. have to go to no, the no, airport she actually has to go, yeah. <laughs> i like, actually have to go you guys yes. it was amazing though no, and i you. appreciate you for having me thank no, you so thank much you. wow no no thank you very much we appreciate that and yeah that's part of the game you know you're on the go and we're on the go all the, all the time so guys uh, thank you very much for watching towards the end if you did watch it make sure you guys send the uh send the dm with uh, the name jimmy and she yes. has gonna have a special prize for you guys so yes. um if you guys watch it please send us a dm if you guys want to know a little more information any cool questions that you guys would want to ask our guests please let us know and we're here to serve you guys and empower you guys and bring amazing people like this in our podcast so you guys could um, see their story and ask any questions you guys are willing, wanting to do that too so thank, thank you, you. and Bye. jasmine thank you very much thank you so much <laughs>